Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 52. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is the first uh, No Catch Your Name episode in Vlogist this year. So, there will also be a Vlogist episode coming out later today also. Or earlier, I don't know. It depends on which one I get edited first, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it because I got some other stuff I gotta do and Jesse's in here and he's kind of grumpy because he needs a nap. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop into my finished object, which I have one finished object. And it was actually finished last week. I just put it all together recently. And it's my Halloween Bat Reef by Sarah Zimmerman. It's also got two other patterns incorporated in it. It's got um, Candy Clops by Gleeful Things and Sid the Spider by Lucy Coates. There it is. <laughs> it's Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm Black. This is Red Heart Accents Purple. I'm not sure what the orange is. And then these are all Red Heart Super Saver uh, Bright Yellow Pumpkin and White. Uh, yeah, so I made this for the fair and then I'll hang it up also in the house whenever um, Halloween's around. So that's my finished object this week. I kind of have another finished object too, I guess. I finished this, the crochet part a long time ago. I can't even remember when. It's been months. But then I just recently bought and sewed on the star buttons. I do want to get like at least one more to put right there because I feel like that's a big empty spot. But I have to go buy another pack of buttons just to do that. So I probably will do that before the fair. Just to put one star right there. And uh, yeah, but I crocheted this. I can't exactly remember the pattern for this, but I will link it below. Because it's been a while and I just finished it yesterday. So I haven't put it back up yet. But um, I just got to get another button. And then it'll be ready for the fair also. Alright. Now as for whips. Um, I have just a few that I'm actually working on. Oh wait. I do have one more finished object. I'll have to pop a picture right here of it. Because it was a baby shower gift. And the baby shower is actually today. My mom's at it right now. <laughs> and um, it was a baby. A lovey that I made. With the blanket part is Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket by Celeste Young. And it's my go-to baby blanket. And then the the deer part, the head, I just made the head of it, is, its pattern's called Game of Thrones. Bartheon Stag? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Bar Baratheon? Baratheon? Stag? It's a free pattern by I Crochet Things. And it's just, I just used the head to put on there. So I made a little lovey. And the yarn was Red Heart Super Saver Camo. Uh, I love this yarn, orange. The, the deer head was Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte Buff. And then the, the nose was uh, Red Heart with Love Chocolate, I think was what it was called. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, now my whips. I have three whips. I was hoping I'd be done with my my Magikarp hat but I ended up having an issue with the fins and apparently a lot of people has and although I love the way this hat's turning out I don't think I'm going to recommend this pattern to anyone just because whoever wrote it there's a lot of errors in the pattern and a lot of people commented to them about it and they've not responded and they've not fixed it and I just think that's kind of bad business you know when people tell you there's something wrong with it you should go fix it <laughs> and uh, you know correct it or whatever but I do have, I only have two more pieces to make for it. And it's the yellow fin on the top and the yellow fin on the bottom. Oh, and the little barbel thingies. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> I think I had all this done last week too, though. But I have um, both of the fins that go on the side of it done. And I did finish the tail fin. I didn't, I didn't have that last week. And then right here is all the stuff for the eyeballs. <laughs> Just the whites and the pupils. And then the body of the hat I have done. So I just got to finish those two yellow fins and the little cord thingies. And then sew it all together and it'll be done. I'm hoping to get that done soon because I want to have it done before next weekend. Which is the next Pokey um, Community Day. Pokemon Community Day. And... Uh, all the colors I'm using it for it is Red Heart Super Saver. It's uh, Red Heart Super Saver Light, Raspberry, Carrot, uh, Gold and White. I think it's called Gold. Yeah, Gold and White. Yeah, 
it's a it's an okay pattern it's just there's a lot of errors in it and they haven't corrected them even though they have a lot of comments about it I actually I was gonna have to frog the whole thing and find another pattern but another person fixed it themselves and put it in the comments on Ravelry the corrections and not the pattern designer it was a totally different person so um I don't know it just seems like bad business to uh, offer patterns and then not fix them <laughs> when people find errors and I don't know yeah, that's just me but yeah that's my Carpe Diem useless goldfish monster hat and I can't say who it's by because it's a well you know it's a foreign name to me I will link it below but you know beware of it if you if, I think if you want to make a magic carp hat you might want to just get one of the other patterns for it there are some more free patterns for it and there are some more paid for patterns for it I actually have a paid for one that I got for free when the person who made it was doing a coupon code deal and I started it a while ago but it was a little bit more difficult of a pattern so I, I tried this free one hoping it would be a little bit easier and quicker and it ended up being a pain in the butt so I don't know if I make another one I'll probably use the other pattern I have and I'm probably just going to delete this one from my uh, library and not even bother with it after this one gets done Whew. okay that was a lot for that my Harry my Harry <laughs> I was going to say Harry Potter my Halloween granny square blanket by Maria's Blue Crown I am still behind on it I was hoping to get cut off yesterday but Jesse ended up wanting a lot of attention so um because I was going to sit outside while he played with his rocks and crochet granny squares but I ended up playing with him which is fine you know I don't mind and um uh, they're super simple granny squares I can sit around and do them anytime squares. so today actually a new set comes out I haven't even looked to see what it is but it'll be eight squares and four uh appliques so I am behind I do need to make I have my ghosts like y'all have seen and I have eight purple squares that y'all have seen and I have four witches <laughs> and then I have I do have the four gray squares from two weeks ago made these will have skeleton faces on them and then I gotta make um, finish these I have three and I need one more of these for that week to be done and then last week was four more green ones and four more gray ones. And then, uh, what is he called? I always forget what he's called. Frankenstein's monster's heads will be on there. So I need to make four gray squares, five green squares, and eight appliques to be caught up. And then whatever today's is. So I am like two and a half weeks behind, but I'll get caught up. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, a lot of my time is the Mandela Madness, so I think once that gets done, which hopefully will be in a few days, um, I can finish up these other things and start some new things, because there's a lot of patterns that I want to start that's new, but I want to wait till I get some of these fair things done. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish all the things I want to make for the fair, uh, because the Mandela Madness is taking up way more time than I thought it would. But yeah, so I'm trucking along on that Granny Square. Uh crochet along it is a free pattern on her website you can buy it through um ravelry for like a you know ad free version pdf but you can also get it free on her blog all right my last whip is the mandala madness uh, my last active whip and i did finish part 13 i think i'm on part 14 now let me look i got it pulled up right here Yes, I'm on part 14. I'm almost done on part 14. I have two more rounds to complete and then I'll be moving on to part 15. There's 18 parts. So I'm going to have to stand up to show you this. And it is attached to yarn, so I want to make sure I'm not going to pull out any stitches. So I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Oh gosh, it's getting so heavy. But um, it looks pretty much the same as it did last week. It's just what I added, I think, from last week. Uh, the red, orange, yellow, and green. And the row I'm working on now is blue. So it's getting there. I think about another week and I'll be done with it, assuming Jesse doesn't need anything or anything horrible doesn't happen <laughs> here at home. <laughs> I cannot wait to be done with this. I love working on it and I think it's going to be beautiful when it's done, but it's kind of a pain to have to make it by a certain time. I wish I'd started it sooner, but eh, I'll, it'll be done for the fair. Here, Jesse. 
Let me go see what he needs. Hold on. Okay. He wanted me to find a certain episode of Blippi. Um, he's getting to now where he wants to watch certain episodes that he's seen before. So I guess that's kind of cool, but it's also kind of annoying that I have to try to find them. <laughs> but yeah, that's all my whips. I did have a bunch of acquisitions, but they were in my Vlogus days. I think number three, Vlogus day three yesterday is when I showed them. I bought a bunch of crochet thread, but I did get two more <laughs> that night after I finished filming. When I went to pick up Devin at work, um, we went to another Walmart where in the city that he works in, and they had the jumbo skeins of Red Heart, uh, yeah, Red Heart Super Saver, the variegated ones, for a dollar cheaper. Our Walmart has them marked down to four dollars, but theirs had it marked down to three dollars. So I went ahead and picked up the only one they had of Wildflower. I love this, and I think it'd be really cute amigurumis. I've made stuff with that before, and Bon Bon, which I always love Bon Bon. Yeah, I'm not sure I said that right. <laughs> but I always think it's so pretty. I wish I'd been more of this because I'd like to make a big blanket with this and then the blue and the pink stripes. I think it would be real pretty. But yeah, so I just got those two that night after I fin finished filming that video. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that's all the yarn I'm going to buy for a while because I need to use up a lot of yarn. And, um, I want to eventually use up all my Red Heart Super Saver and switch over to buying as my main acrylic um i love this yarn because i think it's softer but also red heart has a lot more vibrant colors than i love this yarn does i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> plus it's a little bit cheaper so i don't know i had an idea to use up more red heart and start buying i love this yarn but now that i'm thinking about it there's they each have colors that the other one doesn't so i don't know <laughs> All right, uh, I think that's about everything for this episode. It's pretty short, but it's just because, I mean, there's not a lot to talk about. Um, so far, it's just mostly Mandala Madness stuff, but, you know, the fair is in uh, right at four weeks from tomorrow, today. Yeah, four weeks from today is when I will go enter my um, stuff into the fair. So, uh, it's going to be fair, 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 Mandala Madness up until it's done. And uh, I guess I will hop on here real fast because I was going to make another video, but I'll go ahead and talk about it real quick I have a list of stuff that I have left to make for the fair and it's not many things but it's the mental madness like I said it's taking up so much time I want to make a holiday wreath and it's that's the category is any holiday other than Christmas um, and I was gonna make a Easter wreath that I found with a little bunny on it it's real cute a fall wreath which I found one with pumpkins on it it's a Sarah Zimmerman pattern a fall decoration, which I was going to make like a little wall hanging thing that looks like a scarecrow. Or that is a scarecrow. <laughs> a Christmas wreath, which again, I found the one I want to make. I just don't know if I'm going to have time to make it. A baby afghan. I was, I'm going to enter one that I already have. Excuse me, made. I just got to dig it out. <laughs> um, and then they have the hat category, which is going to be the magic carp hat when it gets done. And then there's two pot holder categories. There's a decorative pot holder and then a serviceable a pot holder so I was gonna do that if I have the time and also I'd have to get more um, cotton yarn for that and then the only other category would be the afghan which is Mandela Madness and then they have a random category that's called other crochet item that um, you know it's for just stuff that they don't have uh, categories for so I thought about entering for that I was gonna take that giant octopus that I made Jesse um, to see if I can enter that because I do have a stuffed toy category and a pillow category but I didn't know if he would fall into either of those so I was going to take him and ask them if I could put him in the stuffed toy pillow or in the other category but um, he's going to go for sure and they're really nice at our fair they they work with you they even like last year I made baby booties because they used to have a baby booty category but they took it out last year and she let me enter into the house shoe uh, category and it's still one first prize as even though it was baby booties so um, they're real lenient they don't really you know they work with us they're really nice about that but yeah I think that is everything I am planning on making another video um, right before the fair of showing you everything I'm entering and then one during the fair showing it all up there and the other people's stuff and then one after the fair of uh, you know what I won and uh, also what other people won like if something beat out one of my things I'll show you what did win so that maybe you could have an idea for next year um, what to make because that, that's what I did last year 
when I entered a ca a Afghan, because I entered my Snowflake Afghan last year, and um, I think that was last year. Maybe that was year before last. I can't remember. <laughs> That's been a while. Uh, and it didn't win. It won second place. And um, the one that was best in show that year was kind of like a Mandala Madness, but it wasn't as many colors. It was only like four different colors. And it had a lot of granny square stitches incorporated in it. It was like different stitches and then a bunch of granny square stitch or granny stitches. And um, I tried to remember that, that the ones that won in the Afghan and baby Afghan category were blankets with a bunch of different stitches in it. Not just necessarily color work, but a lot of stitches in it. That's why I was hoping the Mendel Madness would maybe bring home the best in show because it's a lot of different stitches, a lot of different textures, and a lot of different colors. I'm hoping that it will really you know pop out and grab their attention when they're judging um i'll be happy with best in show first or second we don't do third place or honorable mentions but uh, i'll be happy with either of those or even if i don't get anything um uh, you know the people who have the you know the people who win are gonna deserve it so if there's someone out there that beats me out on it that's great for them i'm happy for them but i'm gonna take a picture of what they made and i'm gonna remember it next year <laughs> Hey guys, I'm popping in at the end of this video because I forgot to film it earlier, but I wanted to remind you of the sale that's going on in my Etsy store all of August. It includes project bags, notion pouches, and stitch markers. They're all 20% off the entire month of August. So if you're interested in that, follow the link below in the description or at the end of the video and check out what I got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.